right, welcome back, guys. Um, my name's Ty, and this is the Pop Culture Corner. Today, we're going to do a little reaction to the new TV spot that has just came out uh, last night for Spider-Man No Way Home. I know this is a huge topic right now. Um, people are super anticipating this film. So I'm going to milk it for all it's worth. What can I say? That's just how it goes. Um, <laughs> but before we get into that, guys, make sure to smash that like button. Share the show across all social media platforms and beyond. And don't forget to follow us. All of our links are in the description below. Um, and if it's your first time here, welcome. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads or content from the Pop Culture Corner. Truly, it really like means a lot to me. Uh, and if you want to support the channel further, you can become a member for as low as $2.99. This month? This month, we're giving away a $150 uh, HyperX Quadcast microphone as our um, big prize. And in lieu of Spider-Man, we're giving away a Superior Octopus Pop. So we're giving away both of those things. Um, for the Pop, you have you can be any degree member, uh, $2.99, $4.99, or $9.99. But for the microphone, you have to be $4.99 or $9.99. Um, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. And we'll be picking the winner on the last day of November. Um, actually, I think we're going to pick it on December 1st, because that makes more sense. So if you want to enter to um, win any of these things, join our membership before the end of the month. Um, and, and you could potentially walk away with a $150 microphone uh, or a pop. Either way, you're getting something. So Thank you guys so much. Let's talk about Spider-Man. So for a long time, for for what seems like forever now, every person that's ever graced presence uh, or appeared in a Spider-Man film has been rumored to be in the upcoming film No Way Home. I am not sold. Um, as RJ likes to put it, I am one of the last holdouts uh, for the Toby and Andrew thing. Um, and, and, and I'm going to stick with that. I, I don't know, but this new TV spot kind of throws me for a loop because what happens is they signal, well, let, let's just watch it. Let's watch it. So, uh, right after this guys, Spider-Man No Way Home, new TV spot. <laughs> All right, so here we have, um, I'm going to drop it a little bit. So here we have the new Spider-Man um, TV spot that, that debuted last night. And we're going to take a look uh, and, and maybe pause it a couple times. It's only like a minute and, uh, what is it? How long is it? It's a minute and 19 seconds. Uh, and I think I have already, yeah, it's a minute and 19 seconds. So we'll pause it maybe once or twice, um, but it's pretty quick. So let's try to get through it in one go. All right, here we go. Do you know Peter Parker, who's Spider-Man? Yes. Is that him? No. <laughs> so right off the bat, I knew, I knew that they were not going to give away this Toby and Andrew thing. If it's true, they're not giving it away in some TV spot or trailer. That's going to be an in-movie surprise. Well, I mean, if you want to call it a surprise now, uh, Good luck, but eh, whatever. Um, this, so he, right off the bat, Doctor Strange is there and he goes, is this, like, do you know Peter Parker, Spider-Man? Ox says, yes. Is this him? No. Meaning that this Doc Ock, that's not, that, that doesn't necessarily mean it is Tobey Maguire's Doc Ock, but this Spider-Man, Tom Holland, is not his Spider-Man. It's not his Peter Parker. So that much we do know and we can confirm. The very puzzled look on Tom Holland's face. <laughs> can you please explain? Here is, so there's been, there, there, remember the shot in the beginning of, not the beginning, um, but there's the, the shot where Doctor Strange is moving the train all over Spider-Man. This looks like the same exact shot. So it looks like, see you can see the mountain like i mean the um like the ridges uh on the left side of it i think this is all the same thing um 
And I don't, I think just, I don't know where they are, but something's being manipulated. Explain what is going on. After I shut that spell down, we started getting visitors. Electro. So Dr. Strange is saying, you know, after I shut that spell down. So clearly the spell didn't, didn't go through. It didn't take. There's some every universe. Multiverse is real. I need you to capture them before they destroy the fabric of reality. I'm going to need some help. So. Doctor Strange asks for Spider-Man's help, it seems. I need you to capture, capture these guys before they destroy the fabric of time itself. And then Tom Holland says, I'm going to need some help. Then the next shot is Ned MJ or Zidane's character, MJ, Mary Jane, I don't know who she is. And then I'm assuming that's Tom Holland. Um, a lot of people are speculating that that isn't exactly what he's saying at that point. But I 100% think he's just talking about his crew. Um, but why would he say that he needs some help if it's just going to be his crew? I, I don't know. Um, but a lot of people think that this means he's going to recruit other people that are coming through the multiverse. You guys ready? Let's catch some multiverse men. So let's catch some multiverse men. <clears throat> Tom looks over at him, kind of confused. Like, or, or is it confused? Or is it like, that was dope. Multiverse men, I like that. Here we get that shot again of Sandman, Electro, and Liz. I call him Liz. Spider-Man, no way home. They I like how they made sure that... Wait, wait, there's no way that this is... So it's only 25 seconds then. There's no way that this goes on. Oh, they play the next trailer, that's why. Um, so the, there's no way that Marvel is going to make the mistake of putting that shot out again. Um, that, that debuted at the Brazilian trailer where Lizard's head snaps back. Um, there's no way that we'll ever see that again in any TV spot because Marvel knows now that we know that they're up to no good and you're trying to trick us. Because that is trickery. I don't know who's necessarily the one punching Lizard because we can't confirm any of that, but... They definitely messed up by showing us that. Like, how? who thought that was a good idea? Who thought that that was a good idea? I don't know. Oh. What was your name again? Dr. Otto Octavius. <laughs> Seriously, what's your actual name? So then that qui quippy line of um, Spider-Man making fun of Doc Ock. No, <laughs> I, have a, I have a theory that Doc Ock is going to end up helping um, the heroes in a lot of the posters and promotional doc ox arms are not pointed at the villains i mean uh, the heroes they're po it's pointed at the villains and you know i don't know and and what the trailer signifies is that doc ock is, is not necessarily a threat um i know he's being held captive at that one point but i think that and then why why wouldn't he be with the trio of Sandman, Electro, and Lizard in that shot if he wasn't not working with them. I don't know, because that would de debunk the Sinister Six side of it, unless Doc Ock like, changes sides halfway. I don't know. Um, the, there's so many, th so many questions I have about this movie, and I really am looking forward to it, um, and I know everyone else is too. Um, I mean, this is definitely the most anticipated film, of, besides the Snyder Cut. I think this is the most anticipated film in the last three, four years. Um, and that's that's great. I love when people get excited for movies like this. It like it gets me excited. So, I mean, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, is Toby, the Doc Ock, is Toby, Toby Maguire, Spider-Man, Doc Ock in this movie's um, Spider-Man? Like, is that, is it, that universe or is it some other multiverse version of doc ock that's here um you know because electro looks completely different than the amazing spider-man lizard looks like he's from the amazing spider-man um but electro doesn't so you know i think electro's from a different 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 universe than these other guys um 
and and you know there's going to be i mean it's the multiverse there's not just three universes there's infinite amounts of 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 universes so i'm really interested to see um i'm definitely not going to confirm or i'm not going to speculate that andrew and toby are in it but if they are um i would say maybe it's one of them and it's a brief cameo towards the end um setting up the future of spider-man and the mcu because we have to think about it like this if we just drop toby and andrew in this film like I don't know. It wouldn't be so cool or it wouldn't be as a surprise as like if they did another Spider-Verse style movie uh, in the future. Like we'd already know, okay, Toby and Andrew, um, like Tom Holland already knows them. But no, that would take away a little bit from like a Spider-Verse style movie. So I am, I, I think that they should dabble in it with the villains this time and then not have it not resolved by the end of it. And then bring in Toby and Andrew for a full length feature and have a, have a nice team up. But who am I? Cause everyone else just wants them in this movie. Uh, everything's instant gratification these days. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, we're going to be back tonight with Dane. I think, um, celebrating, you know, being grateful. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way, happy holidays to everybody. Um, you know, make sure you're grateful for, for the family that you do have. And if you don't, have much family, like come spend it with us. Let's talk movies. Let's do the things that we love. Um, cause you know, we're family. We're all family. And I love you guys like family. So I'll I'm here all day if you need anything to talk about or you just want to chat, um, DM me and, and let and let's chat. Um remember I we do it for you and we do it for the culture. All right. I'll see you guys a little bit later. You can't make this shit up. And remember, you can't make this shit up. We'll <laughs>